Hey, what's going on? David here with After Video Effects, and welcome back to another video tutorial. And it's been a while since I've done a 3D modeling tutorial. So today, we're going to be creating this soccer table from scratch. So, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in 3ds Max. So, first thing we have to do is make our legs. So, I'm going to use the line tool. And coming in the top view, I'm just going to draw like fairly small legs. So, hold down shift to make it perpendicular. And just draw some legs here. And once you've done that, close the spline. And then we're going to add the extrude modifier. Hit enter. And that will extrude the leg up. And we want to extrude about, let's say, 50 centimeters. And there we go. Maybe we could adjust some of these points here. So just give me a second. Okay, so once you've done that, uh, next thing we have to do is duplicate it obviously, and we're gonna mirror it also. So to do this, we're gonna hold shift and then push it out. And we wanna make a copy. We're gonna use this mirror icon. And we mirror it on the Y axis, hit okay. And then shift again, and then copy. And I'm going to mirror it on the x-axis this time. So it looks like it's like this box formation. Okay. Once you've done that, just spread the tables out. Not, not tables, sorry, legs. Cool. So next thing we have to do is just add some medium-sized detail to the legs. So to do that, I'm just going to make a box. So come down into the standard primitives and create a box and just extrude it up just a little bit. And let's rotate it. I'm using the magnet snap tool, so it snaps every five degrees. And just push it in between these two legs. It, so I hold shift and then just push it out like there. Um, maybe I'll just scale it down a bit. Maybe around like that. And just push down a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to make another box. So come in here. And this time we're going to make it a little bit wider and we'll rotate this once again like that and this time we'll just squeeze it in and then stretch it out on the y-axis Then we'll just shift and then just push it across here. Hit OK. And that's it. Um, maybe I'll just squeeze these in a bit more. Like that. And maybe I'll just push it up a little bit. Like that. OK. So that's our. Uh, bottom half so uh, we have to create this ring around this box so we're going to use the line tool once again and we're just going to draw like like a rough shape with soft corners obviously so let's just do this so um, just make some curves like that and then just hold shift just to make it perpendicular so just make some round corners okay. 
So something like that. It's not perfect, but we can fix it uh, a little bit later. So for now, I need to um, extrude this. So I'm going to add the extrude modifier like that. And we want to extrude it not all the way, obviously, just maybe about until it roughly sits like like hangs over your t arm leg so maybe about 15 is a good number for me like that okay and then we want to go into wireframe mode now i want to duplicate it and i want to scale it in so i just scale it in like around there yes yeah, so just roughly about the size of your table and we want to scale this bad boy in a little bit and just position it and with this extrude modifier we want to push it up and then that so we want it to intersect with our uh, outer ring and then we'll just add our boolean at the upper ends and subtract that area okay that is looking pretty good and now we want to add like a plane for our uh, field so I'm just gonna come in here to the standard primitives again add a plane and just draw it out here and just push it up like that and that is looking pretty gonna look maybe I'll just widen it a bit like that okay Try to get it as low as possible. It looks like a tub. <laughs> okay, so next thing we have to do is make our goals now. So come over to this side. Let's just make a box first and extrude it up a little bit and tilt it about 45 degrees. And then we're going to add another box. That. Let's look at the top view. And position it somewhere in the center. So maybe about there. And squeeze it in a little bit like that. So I'm just trying to make it in the center. And just push it like that so it's intersecting with our other box and then we want to make this a boolean again so let's make this into a boolean object add our upper hands hit this cube set it to subtract okay there we go okay so now let's make a plane that represents our net so Let's go into my perspective view and let's make a plane. And I chose this number for, um, as my segments. So you could just um, do 30 by 12. And then we're going to convert this into an edible poly. Okay. And then we're going to go to the border and we're just going to hit control. A uh, sorry the edge so hit control A and we're just gonna connect it like that so you have this like diagonal pattern and we're gonna hit control I to invert the square pattern and just hit backspace okay and that just gets rid of the um, segments okay and then 
we're going to go to the polygon and hit control a again and we're going to inset it uh, by polygon and it's going wild so just shrink it down a little bit maybe about Uh, 0.1 something like that and hit the tick and then we're going to extrude it and it's going wild again and we're just going to bring that down maybe to about negative 0.5 so it gives that thickness for the net um, maybe point two five, something like that. Hit the tick, and then while the polygons are still selected, hit delete like that. Now you've got this like net. Okay, so that's basically the hardest part um for this tutorial. Now um. We can just rotate this about 90 degrees and rotate this 90 degrees as well. So something like that. Maybe we could push it out. And then we're going to duplicate it. Just push it across here. Hit, okay. And then duplicate it once more. And then rotate it flat. Like that. And maybe rotate it 90 degrees. And then just scale it up. And then just scale it until it perfectly aligns with our top. And then just push it up like that. So we've got our net like that. And then just move it across here a bit. Okay, and one final detail I want to give is just another cylinder. So like that. What the heck? Like that, and I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees. And just push it about here. And then change the radius to like very small, like 0.5. And just push it in like that. Okay. That is our goal done. So first things first, I need to bring this on top of our table. Like that and then just push it up. And maybe scale it down like that and then just across here and just align it up like that and maybe push it out a bit more like that cool and then what I need to do is group all of this so I'm just going to group all of these and group and we'll call this goal hit ok and then now when i move this it'll group everything 
so we're going to just rotate this 90 180 degrees and then just slide it back like that okay that is looking pretty good all right so the next thing the final thing we have to do is make our players so to do that we're gonna make first make our like cylinder sticks so just come over here we're gonna make another cylinder and just rotate this 90 degrees and make this about one and just make another cylinder like that this is for the handle and we're gonna like give this quite a few sides so maybe about 50 and we're gonna make another cylinder so let's make just this one's gonna be a small cylinder and let's give this a lot of sides here like 50 is good enough and I'm gonna rotate this 90 degrees like that and we're just gonna connect this to that loop. No, sorry, um, to the cylinder, sorry. Like that, and maybe scale it down. Okay, and that's our rods. So we're gonna group those. I'll call it rod and let's move it up inside of our table like so and I'm just gonna squeeze it in like that and maybe we could scale it down Okay, so once that's done, we're gonna add our player. So come over here to the plane. Let's make a 1000 by 1000 plane. So it's pretty big. And I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. And if we come over to our front view, we can add our texture to this. So what I did was I just grabbed this texture from Google Images, downloaded it, and I just dragged, simply literally dragged and dropped it onto the plane. It's really that simple. So we're gonna make this player by using the line tool. And we're just gonna just draw a rough shape around its body. So I'm just gonna do this quickly, so I'll be right back. Okay, so once you've done made your player, um, add the extrude modifier once again. Like that, and I wanna make it a pretty thick, maybe about 30. And we're gonna just scale it down like so, like that. And we don't need this plane anymore. And let's just move it across here. And let's rotate this 90 degrees. Uh, 
know, just push it up, maybe about there. Scale it down until you're happy with its player. So something like that. Okay, so that's how you make your players. So once you've done that, just keep duplicating it and just line it up, rotate it and scale it and you'll be all finished. So the final, so this is how um, I ended up with my final product. Um, yeah, so you can see I've got four rods each side and I just made a like a one, two, three, five formation for the players, um, yeah, pretty simple. Uh, I added some Omni lights on top, so yeah, just to give it some lighting. And if you can't see the line, just hit Control L, and then that will like help with the uh, GPU uh, real time lighting. Now for the materials, if you hit M, I just use some ambient colors just to you know, just give it some like some soccer feeling to it. So I use some red, I use some yellow. Did I use some yellow? I don't think I use some yellow. Maybe the ball. Eh, who cares? And I use mostly black as well and white. So yeah, pretty simple guys. Um I know it's been a long tutorial, so I am thank you thank you for being patient. So that's our soccer table done uh, okay so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial um my name's david i hope you learn interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations please give a like if you like this video subscribe if you want to see more and comment down below if you have any questions and i will see you in the next video tutorial